Man, look, man. <laughs> Listen, this this about to be one of the most realest videos you don't know, ever watched, okay? That I ever probably done upload. This probably about to be one of the most realest videos that you gonna ever, ever hear. And what I'm saying in this video is the truth. I know it. Can't nobody convince me otherwise. I see it all so clear. And I think some people do see I think Not a lot of people see this. But the little few people that do see this, you going to stay tuned to this whole video because everything I'm about to tell you in this video is going to resonate with your spirit because it's nothing but truth what I'm about to tell y'all that's going on right now, man. Listen, listen, you think you think Decepticons is at an all-time high right now, right? Yeah, it's bad. You think people fake right now? You think you lonely right now? You think you think you think it's bad right now, huh? No, listen. It is about to get 50 million times worse. All right? It's about to be so many Decepticons in this world. This shit is probably going to be like World War Z if nobody does anything about it. All right? I had to come all the way up here to Washington. I came up here to Washington, D.C. The Capitol building is literally like one block over from where I'm standing in this hotel. I wanted to come right beside. I wanted to be up close and center. I wanted to feel the energy of the people around, all these politicians and political people or whatever. I had to come up. It's sad. A star seed like Big Bro Train. I had to come up into the epicenter of where... Cause Man, these people are lost. They don't know how to. They don't know how to control nothing. They don't know how to orchestrate things no more. Nothing. Or then, then again, maybe they are doing this on purpose. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. It's about to get people about to get more and more fake. All right, they about to get more and more fake because I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what's happening. If you can see this clear, then you smart. You very smart, all right? Man, it's crazy because I was, every time I ride on an airplane, you know, sometimes I ride like with everybody instead of a private, right? So it's crazy, it just blows my mind to go out into the public and ride on airplanes and stuff and be hanging out at the bar and shit or you know just just going out to a restaurant or whatever it, it blows my mind to see so many people who are desensitized so it, it blows my mind to see so many people who are alone and who are lonely and they do they do they do, they are not social at all they are not any more social at all anymore at all it's gone it's gone it blows my mind how you could be sitting by somebody in an airport. I mean, not an airport, but on an airplane. And y'all know how y'all know how cramped they're in the seats on an airplane. All they like just like this. The person is sitting right there, right there. His leg and your leg are touching each other. That's how close it is when you sit on an airplane with people. It's just like that. And you know the crazy thing about it is the people that sit next to you they won't even talk to you, dog. They won't even look at you. They won't even start a conversation with you. This is what our world is becoming, right? And this is what they want to happen. But this is what they want to happen. Why y'all think we got to stay six feet apart? See, then y'all understand. See, the thing y'all don't understand. Listen, these cell phones, iPhone just keep making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven camera, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, the, see, the thing y'all don't understand. The thing y'all don't understand is, bro. They want this shit to happen. They want it to be like this. They don't want you to think. They don't want you to have to think. Because we got technology that can do that for you. They don't want you to think no more. They don't want me to they don't want me to be your friend. They don't want you to be my woman. They don't want you to have no man. They don't want you to have no friends. Don't you get it? Don't you see the big plan? Don't you see the big plan? And so what you have everywhere you go. What you have everywhere you go, you got everybody who's doing this. Look, 
Don't nobody talks to anybody no more. Nobody creates uh, conversations anymore. Nobody's taking initiative anymore. Everybody's just looking at their fake life on Instagram, looking at their fake life on LinkedIn, looking at their fake life on Snapchat, looking at their fake lifestyle on TikTok, and that's what they want. That's what they want. Y'all ain't heard about it. Y'all ain't see. Y'all need to do y'all research. You know, Big Brother Trent. Huh? Do I? Huh? I read. I am a nerd. I am proud of it, too. All right? I am a huge nerd. Okay? I'm. If you ever wonder what type of person I am, just know that I'm a nerd. And if you don't like to do nerdy things, then you're probably not going to be my friend. All right? Because I hang around nerds. I'm a nerd person. And I like to read and study and do information checkups and Fact checks, fact checks, fact checks, all right? So you can miss me with the BS. You can't fool me with false information or nothing like that. I'm gonna look up, do the research, all right? But anyway, you know, it's crazy because I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all noticing this, but you know, just recently Facebook just basically revamped its whole structure. And y'all remember we got every, all the social media got turned off a few weeks ago, all right? Facebook is now Meta, right? Meta. Is it, it, I think it's Meta. I think it's I think it's Meta or something like that, right? So what? So what they doing now? What they doing now? Y'all y'all gotta see it coming. They creating a totally different reality from what we actually live in, okay? And this ain't nothing but a big experiment, dog. It ain't nothing but a big experiment getting you ready for that shit. You know what I mean? Just preparing you to be to be living your own fantasy land lifestyle through your through a video camera or through a phone or on your social media. Social media has taken over the minds of people, y'all. It's people that's not even real. They, some, these Decepticons don't even have no soul no more. Y'all see all the people that's doing this soulless shit out here? Soulless, soulless, pure evil. Because they live a social media lifestyle where they throwing up money on, on and showing everybody like they rich, but they really broke. Because social media, this is what they want, bro. I think it's called, uh, my boy Papa Duck talked about it. But I think they call it a metroverse. They creating a metroverse or a metaverse, right? Metroverse, metaverse. That's why when, that's why on your phone, I know I'm an iPhone user, but I'm an Android user too. But if you got an iPhone, that's why when you first log into your phone, when you first activate that phone, they give you the option to create a, your own character. Yeah, just like me, Trent Jeans. You see my little character down there? I just realized why they gave me the option to do that. They giving you the option to be a cartoon. You can be a cartoon. And y'all already know what cartoons are. It's a bunch of, it's animation. It's fake. It's not real. It's not real reality. They give you the option as soon as you go into your phone to be a cartoon character. Don't, I don't know. I watch football. You know what I'm saying? I watch football. Fellas, I'm pretty sure y'all know this. Ladies, too. I know there's some testosterone ladies out there, too. <laughs> I love y'all to death. Y'all some good star seeds, too. That's my favorite. But anyway, um, just recently, I noticed they started doing it with football players. Every time a like, football player or something to score a touchdown or something like that or do something special or whatever, they'll pull up his little cartoon animation figure like, so even that is even something as simple as, as football, a sport, is becoming like, it's becoming like, I can't even understand, I don't even know the word for it. It's becoming fake. Even football is be, it's becoming fake. It's going to become characters. They've been doing this, bro. They've been doing it. They've been doing it. They, that's why you don't got no friends. You don't, see, people, y'all got to understand, people don't got no friends because they don't want no friends. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to be in a relationship, but they got this shit like this. They programming people. They got people to the point to where they don't even want to go outside and say nothing to nobody. You know what I mean? They got the guys thinking like, okay, I'm obligated to, I'm obligated to hit that. You need to just give it to me, girl. That's how they got the guys thinking. The guys ain't even gentlemen no more. Chivalry is dead. 
Guys ain't opening the doors for y'all no more, ladies. Guys ain't letting y'all go first no more, ladies. Because they don't turn into some... They want that to be like that. They want. They don't want no hard. They don't want no. They don't want no manly man. They want everything to be opposite of each other. They want everything to go opposite in in a totally different direction from what it's supposed to be in. Who is they? I don't know. I came to Washington to figure out who they was. I don't even know who they are. I don't know. It's a, it's a mystery. It's the same thing here in Washington. I went last night because I stayed I stayed at the uh, St. Regis Hotel, which is a very prestigious hotel here in Washington. Like I said, I'm a block away from the White House. The White House is right there. I got Secret Service, Secret Service right outside in black Jeeps. But don't you know, when I went into when I went into this little bar last night, I'm the only black guy in there, first of all. First of all. I'm probably the youngest one in there too, second of all. But the thing I noticed when I first walked in there, it did have no life. Nobody was talking to each other. It, all this little fancy music was playing like, and everybody was just sitting like to themselves or with their partner or a friend, if they had a friend. Most people was by themselves. And they was just in there just like, once again, scrolling on their phones, and their little fancy outfits and, you know, uh, long jackets and all black on, you know, most of them probably was lawyers or politicians and then probably with some escorts in there, <laughs> models or whatever. But guess what? They were all lonely. They were all lonely. But guess what I did? I wasn't lonely. I went in there. I started having conversations with everybody because... I don't have to be on my cell phone all the time. I'm not afraid to start conversations with people. I'm not afraid to take initiative. I still know how to communicate. I still have my soul. I'm still connected to the divine. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a human being having a spiritual experience. So it's crazy because I got that whole place lit, bro. I had people in there laughing. I had people come up, bro. Everybody was hanging out with me, man, in there, talking to me, telling stories. And I can see, and the thing about it, when all these people hung around me, when all these people hung around me and we talking, I'm talking from the left, I'm talking to the right, to these most even white folks. Okay, the, the the waitress was black though. She was a black girl, so I get sisters, I give you some credit. Love y'all. Love all y'all. But I'm just keeping it real though. I'm just keeping it real. And so like I said, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just having a conversation with everybody at this point. But, you know, I can see through my peripherals, like in the background, I can see people mad about that shit. I can see people sneering up at us because we was enjoying our conversation and we was all laughing and chuckling. And that's what the world needs. So it ain't just in your neighborhood. It ain't just in your city. This, this is worldwide, man. It's even right here in Washington, dog. Soulless human beings. People are turning to bots. Robots. People turn into bots. That's why you can't get in a relationship. Like I said, that's why you don't have no friends because people are turning into AI. They turn it into bots. Sleep. Decepticons. Sleep. You can't even walk up to a chick nowadays. I'm not saying. Thank you, bye. She's so scared of her. She's so scared. She's so scared to open up or just to even say hey to you, bro. Because that's how everybody's programmed, bro. That everybody's in fear. You can't even, you can't even, bro. Most women, most women, most women nowadays don't even know how to communicate right. They start making assumptions and their imagination of shit that ain't even, don't even, it's not even exist. It's not even real. And they will come to you and tell you that you are wrong because of something that they created in their imagination to be real. Rather than picking up the phone and calling you and saying, hey, is this really what you did? Or, hey, is this really going on? Or, I was feeling this way. Could you explain, am I feeling the correct way? No, it ain't no communication no more, dog. That's why you be blocking people all the time. That's why you be blocking people on your phone all the time. Because it's just like, where's the realness at? It's, it's dead. 
Where's the realness at? Nobody is real anymore. Nobody is authentic and genuine anymore. Nobody cares anymore. And everybody think you're like supposed to be psychic. Like you're supposed to just know what they're thinking. You should, you're wrong and I'm right. Why am I, why am I wrong? Because I thought this and I know, I know I'm right. Why do you know you're right? Because I just know that I'm right. You don't have any evidence? Because I'm about to throw this shit out. No, and I don't need everything. You know what? You're just getting on my nerves. And you're just like the rest of them. And you're arrogant. And this, and why? Because I'm questioning your belief. Because I'm questioning your belief. I'm politicking with you. I'm debating with you. And you can't win the argument because it doesn't make any freaking sense. You don't have any facts. And that's why people feel entitled. Because they don't want to show the facts. They don't want to be responsible. We live in a world nowadays where it's so dumbed down. Because people are spoiled. And they don't have to work to, do, to, to get what they want. They can cheat. They can be Decepticons. They can run into some, uh, some naive guy or whatever. And just take all his money or whatever. We live in a society nowadays where people don't want to be responsible for just being negative. They don't care. They're like, you know what? If it ain't to my liking, then it's not right because I just can be right all the time. And I don't need to listen to what you have to say and, and because I got a social media following and I have a lot of followers. So I'm right and you're wrong whether you have the facts or not. It's just like the whole trial shit that just happened with old boy just walking scotch free. That's the society that we live in. It's like some socialism shit. It's just like I'm right. I call the shots. I'm your boss. And if you and if you don't have you didn't have a break and everybody else did, so what? What are you gonna do? You gonna quit? I don't care because I ain't the boss. Everybody feels entitled, man. Everybody feels like they. Everybody feels entitled. And like that's that's what I'm saying. It ain't gonna do nothing but get more faker because what they doing now is they trying to create a totally different reality from what we actually live in. Nobody ain't going in nature no more. I be going in the woods, bro. I be out in nature. I be around waterfalls, nigga. I be walking through trails. I be at on the beach. I be under the water scuba diving. I be flying in the air, bro. I be so connected with nature, bro. And it made me feel like I'm the outcast in this world because I go around so much people that's just full of shit. And it's just like, like, damn, like, hey, hello, how are you? What is your name? What's your favorite color? What do you like to eat? People are like, eh, you shouldn't talk to me. I'm like, why? I don't know. I don't want to communicate. I'm very busy. My phone doesn't have any reception. Why don't you, why don't your phone have any reception? I don't know. Like, huh? People are becoming bots, bots, robots. And that's what they want. Why you think? Why you think all this, all this, these different ways of making money is coming into existence? It's it been manifesting. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Coinbase. You know what is it? Uh, what is it? NFT. All this stuff. Token money and all this. Why you think all this shit is coming into a reality? It's because, like I said, they just want everything to be like a virtual world to where you don't even need to think. You don't even need money no more. Half of the people walking around here don't really got no real cash in their pocket. How many, how many of y'all, how many of y'all can just whip out your wallet or go into your purse and just at least show $40, $50 of cash? No. You can't do that. You know why? Because they got everybody going digital. Cards. They got everybody going digital. Cards. 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 Scammers. Scammers. Cards. Fraud. Fraud. Everything is going digital. Everything going digital. Why? Because they don't want you to think. They don't want you to know how to count money. They don't want you to know how to read and write. That's why y'all use these abbreviations when y'all type. LOL. ASF. T F L M A O L M B O. 
That's why y'all use these abbreviations because they just dumbing you down. They dumbing you down. Bro, if I get another person that don't know how to write a text message, I'm going to lose my mind. So many people, man, I be getting emails. Some of y'all be sending some emails. This shit don't be making no sense. Y'all cannot write. I'm like, I know I wasn't the smartest man in school. I didn't, I was make. I wasn't even making straight A's, but I know how to write. Some of y'all don't even be putting, some of y'all don't even use commas, periods, quotation marks, exclamation marks, question marks, but you like, I was asking you a question. You didn't even put a question mark after the statement. How am I supposed to know this? Is, how am I supposed to know that's a question versus a command? You didn't even put the sign. They slow. People are slow, but they expect you to love them. Why you didn't call me that? Why you, you can't write? Deceptive. You cannot write. You don't even know what the word grammar means. Grammar? What's that? It's it's the terminology for when you're using punctuations inside your sentences. Oh, that grammar. I thought you were talking about like Nelly country grammar. I'm done, man. I'm done, man. You blocked. You blocked. You blocked. Just dumb down. Just people just dumb down nowadays. Why? Once again, like I said, bro, they they want everything. They want everything to be virtual bro to where you live your life through computers and through phones and shit fake shit that shit fake y'all it's fake bro that shit got a whole that, that's what got your family in disarray and dysfunction that's why families ain't together no more because they introverted everybody's becoming an introvert I put my phone down for like two hours a day and I just go out and just talk to people. That's, I got a lot of friends and I talk to a lot of people. Y'all know, cause half of y'all done met on trains, trams, airplanes, airports. Y'all know, malls. You know how Big Bro is. Big Bro will talk to you. Big Bro will get out of his ego and he'll stop. Since he got on designer clothes, he'll get out of his ego and he'll come down the escalator and if you wave it, big bro, he going to come over there to you and you're going to ask him to take a picture with you. Because I'm just real like that, bro. I'm real, bro. Regardless if I'm regardless if I'm handsome, if I got on this, whatever, that, this and that. See, that's what we need to get back to. But see, some of y'all so fake. Some of y'all just stuck on y'all makeup. And some of y'all stuck on y'all looks and y'all hair and everything. That if somebody ever even messaged you that liked you and wanted to give you the credit... Somebody that just, hey, hey, you look awesome. I just want you to know. You be like, why are you talking to me? You can't even accept a compliment, but you trying to use the law of attraction. Huh? You can't even, you, you can't even, you can't even take a plane ticket from me because you so prideful that you think that I send plane tickets to all the girls. Because you got that much pride. You got that much pride. That you can't even accept a blessing from somebody because you just so good that you don't want to take nothing from nobody because you just that isolated. You work so hard on trying to be a great person, but you don't even have friends. You work so hard to just try to make everybody see you as a great person and everything, but you don't even go out here and socialize with people and make and, and be in real reality. You got so many followers on, on YouTube and Instagram, but you don't got no real friends in real life who you can even call right now. You know why? Because they're what they want you to be like. They want, See, they don't want nobody to go back to their divine self. They don't want nobody to be their true divine self and be loving and be open and be receptive. They don't want nobody like that. They want y'all to hate each other. They want y'all to be distant from each other. That's what they want. Take more power to them. Take more power to them. You know what I'm saying? They say we can't beat you. If we can't, if we can't put that in you, we're gonna take away, we're gonna take away your morality. We're gonna take a, we're gonna take away your morality. We're gonna take away your freedom. We're gonna take away your freedom. 
And some of y'all just buying right on into it. Y'all just buying right on into it. Some of y'all just buying right on into it. Somebody call your phone. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. Why? Why you don't want to talk to her? Why you don't want to talk to her? What does she do to you? She likes you. What does she do? Man, these girls ain't shit. Bro, every girl ain't like that. Every girl ain't like that. <laughs> every girl ain't like that, bro. That's why I'm telling y'all, bro. They want us to. They want us to hate each other. They want us to be mad at each other. They want us to be jealous of each other. Why? So we can destroy each other. While they sit back and laugh and collect all the money, and all the profits, and live a great whatever. I don't even know who they is. Like I said, I don't even know who I'm talking about. I just know that more and more people are going are gonna to begin to get more and more fake, more and more fake. More and more haters are going to pop up more and more haters will be created. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad, bro. And, you know, like I said, man, it's been going on. They've been doing this, bro. They've been doing this. Just, you know, even even from the, you know, just even video games, bro. Playing video games. All that shit ain't nothing but violence. Think about it. People will get on here and say, Trend, you eat too much cursing, Trend. As soon as you turn on your TV... They, what they doing? As soon as you go watch a movie, what they doing? Promoting sex, violence. Robbing banks. Cursing. As soon as you go listen to... Trin, it's too much cursing, twin. Why you saying, why you saying the N-word, twin? As soon as you go get in your car, what you listening to? Lil Wayne. Lil Baby. What they doing? Cursing. So, you know, they've been doing this, programming people, programming people. I don't know who they is. I'm just trying to figure it out. I might be wrong. I might just be, this might just be something that's just in my mind that I see. You know what I'm saying? But even, even with the kids, the, the games, like I say, Fortnite. It's all virtual now. They want you to live in a virtual world that's fake to make you feel like you being stimulated, but you're not. You're not being stimulated. It's it's crazy. Like the game Fortnite allows you to be able to go on there and play with your friends who you never even meet in real life. It's all it's all virtual. You never gonna meet them, but they help you. They they, they help you take over people's. Territory to help you build up houses and everything. Grand Theft Auto. They ain't making games no more where it's just like a game. Grand Theft Auto nowadays look just like California. Just like it. You think you really in California because they created where it's just like Cali. Just like Cali. You don't even need to take a trip no more. You don't even need to take a trip to California no more. You can go there on the game. You can go to the Santa Monica Pier on the game. And just chill in the, any kind of ride you want. BMW, G, Lamborghini. Just do it on the game. You don't even have to do it in real life. Oh, no, it gets even better. You don't even need to reproduce. You don't need to reproduce and make no more kids. You don't need to uh, 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 find a woman in, in a course. You don't need to do that. Just cut your phone on and just type it in Google like you always been doing. And then it'll be done just like that in five minutes. You don't need to do all that. So now when you go outside, you don't need to talk to no woman. You don't need to talk to no man. You got everything you want right in your hand. Huh? Metroverse. Metaverse. Uh, yeah, this video was inspired by my homie um, Papa Duck, man. Um, I don't know if y'all follow Papa Duck, man, but he a real cool cat, man. He be talking about some real stuff, so... Uh, shouts out to Papa Duck, man, for giving me the inspiration to be able to talk about this video. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to let y'all know, man, because I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, it ain't just in your neighborhood. It ain't just with, with people that you know. Everybody getting fake nowadays, bro. Ain't nobody real no more. Don't nobody call nobody no more. Don't nobody reach out to nobody no more or nothing. Everybody feel like they sh everybody should reach out to them. That's how you feel. You feel like, no, they should come to me. That's how you feel. Because I'm keeping it real. And I know I'm right. 
So, in contrary to everything I just said, if you don't, if you believe everything I just said, and you want to make a difference, the difference you can make is today, just go out and just talk to somebody. Go out and just compliment somebody if that's what you just compliment somebody on their outfit. I was talking to this girl last night. I had, we had a beautiful conversation. I think I might call her as soon as I get off this video. I was talking to this girl last night, and um, she was a beautiful black woman. She didn't look black because she had like curly, long, uh, gold hair. And I'm just like, first when I first went into the restaurant, I seen her. And I'm just like, oh, she different. You know, that's the first thing that came to my mind because I could tell by the way she was sitting. She was like, she was very poised and she was upright. She wasn't slouchy. You know, she didn't look ghetto or nothing like that. She was very, very, very stern. And so it actually attracted me to go talk to her. But that's me. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to break this paradigm of, of nobody being friends with nobody and nobody getting to know nobody anymore because we're so introverted. So me, being an initiative taker, I went over and sat right beside her. She probably thought, oh, it was creepy. Or she probably thought, I'm about to get up and get away. Like she probably thought, thought any of those thoughts. But she didn't get up. She didn't go away. We actually had the best conversation ever. Come to find out, the reason why she gave off that type of impression when I first seen her, you know what? She's ex-military. She's an ex-military. She was in the army. That's why she has a little bit of discipline, a little bit of class, a little bit of dignity. That's the only reason why, if you ask me. But what we want to do is go against that grain, man. Go against that grain to be by yourself all the time because it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Try to try to still create more life. Create more life. And I know we can set back, chosen ones, we can set back and say, you know what? It's cool to be alone. It's cool to be in solitude, solitary confinement. I don't want to stay in solitary confinement all the whole time. I'm trying to get out that bit. I'm not standing here by myself looking at these walls. I am literally going to go outside after this video and I'm going to call my friend and we're going to hang out. So if you think being alone is a lot cooler than having real friends, go to Metroverse. Metaverse. It's your big brother trend, man. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.